thanks for coming back to the channel. Uh, by the way, if you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell icon, do as many likes. Well, you can only do one like, right? <clears throat> but that's the way that uh, uh, others can get to see uh, my content. Uh, I've been sitting on this story in my brain for a couple of weeks now because there's just so much to kind of unpack. And it's uh, it happened on the 27th of November in a city called Wa Watosa, Wisconsin, same state as Milwaukee, make the connection. Um, the, the cops uh, arrested a 15-year-old black kid, and I say that on purpose, um, in connection, and he was a sole shooter of eight people in the Mayfair Mall, which is kind of a big mall there in that town. Um, so here you have a 15 year old kid who goes and shoots eight people. Turns out he was a hood rat and he was shooting hood rats because the hood rats go hang at the mall in Wauwatosa. However, let's continue. Um, the cops got there, like they say, within 30 seconds of the first 911 call. But uh, <clears throat> they started looking for the active shooter, couldn't find anybody. Turns out that uh, the, the shooter uh, blended in with the crowd that was running out of the mall and the cops didn't, because they didn't know what they, who they were looking for. What's made it worse is that initially when the cops started interviewing people, uh, first of all, it took six hours to clear them all. Um, the, the cops were given the following, <laughs> the following information. The shooter was a white man in his 20s or 30s. Now, <clears throat> you can fill in the blanks yourself. But here we have a 15-year-old black kid shooting other black kids, gang-related. Runs out of the mall. Uh, snitches get stitches, right? So they did not want to tell the police what the truth was because they didn't want the cops to find this guy. See how stupid the defund the police and the Black Lives Matter mindset contaminates like real, really important stuff. So <clears throat> they looked at the, I'm sorry, it was my mistake. It was not a black kid. It was a Hispanic kid. Okay. A hood rat's a hood rat. A gang bang is a gang bang. So, um, the reason for the shooting was, as I said, two groups of gang bangers got mad at each other. Uh, it's reported as two groups of people. Read that as two groups of gang bangers, hood rats. Now, let me fast forward to, now we know there was a mass shooting. Uh, four th <clears throat> only four had to go to the hospital. I'm sorry, four were bystanders. And uh, four were involved in the confrontation with, no one describes what the confrontation was. So none of the wounds were life-threatening. Uh, I want to go to what the mayor has to say because that's going to just blow your mind and pardon me if I had if I have to scroll this thing the mayor is a guy named Dennis McBride the mayor of Wauwatosa he releases a statement <laughs> blaming the guns and the shooters non-compliance with the no gun policy. Now, you see the flat spot that almost got on my forehead? This is the mayor of a city who, who said, the shooting would not have happened if the bad guy had just followed the no gun policy. Let me say that again. Sign says no guns. Bad guy says, 
brings a gun and it has an altercation and shoots people. You see what I'm saying? The mayor says, we had the policy in place and if the bad guy had followed the policy, there would not have been a shooting. To quote the mayor, guns have no place in shopping malls or other places in which crowds of people gather. Mayfair, the mall, has a strict no gun policy, only if you see it. If the shooter had just complied with that policy, no one would have been hurt. Close quote. So, it doesn't get it. I mean, this is the mindset of, of people, and, and there's no correcting that. I mean, the guy has serious brain damage to, to even say something stupid like that. How he was elected mayor? I don't know. Probably got the votes of all the hood rats. But it was... That is the stupidest, most asinine comment from an elected official, the mayor of a city, that I have ever heard. I might have heard it, but that I recall. If the bad guy, the shooter, had only followed the rules, the shooting would not have happened. Man. Okay. So I thought I'd share that with you as an example of severe stupid on the part of an anti-gun elected official. So, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And as always, thanks for watching. Carry on.